Hey everyone, today we're going to learn about similar figures. In the past, throughout my experience, I've noticed that some students find this hard. I'm going to explain it in a way where you notice it is pretty easy. Let's get started. Figures are similar when they have the same shape but they have different size. So looking at these diagrams here, we can see that we have a ball and we have another ball. They are the same shape. They are round, however, one of them is larger than the other. They have a different size. We look at this star and we have another star. They are the same shape but different size. One has been enlarged, one has been made smaller. They are similar figures. Then we have the footprint. Once again, they are the same shape but just a different size. One has been enlarged, one has been made smaller. These are similar figures. They have the same shape but different size. Now let's look at some more concepts that we can understand regarding similar figures. In similar figures, angles that are in corresponding positions are called matching angles. Angles that are in corresponding positions are called matching angles. And we can see here in these two similar figures. We have these two triangles. They are similar. They are similar figures. How do we know? They have the same shape but different size. When we look at angle A, angle A is in the corresponding position to angle X. Angle A is in the corresponding position to angle X. Angle B is in the corresponding position of angle Y. And angle C is in the corresponding position of angle Z. So angle A and angle X are matching angles. Angle B and angle Y are matching angles. Angle C and angle Z are matching angles. Why? Because they are in corresponding positions. What we also know about these angles is that in similar fingers, matching angles, angles that are in corresponding positions, they are equal in size. They are equal in size. So that means angle A equals to angle X. So if angle A was 70 degrees, angle X will also be 70 degrees. Angle B is matching to angle Y, therefore angle B equals angle Y. If angle B was 30 degrees, angle Y is going to be 30 degrees. And Angle C corresponds with angle Z, which means it is a matching angle. Angle C is matching to angle Z, which means they are also equal in size. So for example, if angle C was 60 degrees, then angle Z will be 60 degrees. They are equal. So we now we know, in similar figures, angles that are in corresponding positions, they are matching angles, they are equal to one another. Now, let's look at some more information. In similar figures, sides also have relationships as well. We can see here that we have two triangles. The triangles are similar figures. One is just larger than the other. They have the same shape, but just different size. We can see in similar figures, sides that are in corresponding positions are called corresponding sides. So C is a side marked in blue. It corresponds with Y from the other triangle. And B corresponds with Z. And side A corresponds with X. So C is corresponding to Y. B is corresponding to Z. And A is corresponding to X. Why? Because they are in corresponding positions. They are called corresponding sides. In similar figures, the lengths of matching sides, the lengths of corresponding sides has the same ratio. Very important concept to know. They have the same ratio. So what we mean by that? If we have C divided by Y, so side C is divided by side Y, it will have the same answer, the same result as side A over side X. 
and B over side Z. This will only work with similar figures. Let's look at an example to understand it better. So we said the lengths of matching sides of corresponding sides has the same ratio. This example will make it more clearer. We have triangle one, it's a large triangle, and we have triangle number two, a smaller triangle. We know they are both similar. We have been told they are similar figures. They have the same angles. They have angles that are matching. However, they are just different size. So same shape, different size. We can tell that 6 over 3, 6 is in purple and 3 in purple, they are both corresponding sides. 6 divided by 3 equals to 2. And 8 divided by 4, 8 is corresponding to 4, 8 divided by 4 is also 2. And in green we have 2 divided by 1, the corresponding side from the larger triangle, divided by the corresponding side from the smaller triangle. 2 divided by 1 in green also equals to 2. So we have the corresponding sides, they all have the same ratio. 6 divided by 3 is equal to 8 divided by 4 is also equal to 2 divided by 1. They all have the same ratio, which means they are similar figures. We need to remember that similar figures have the same shape but different size. Make sure you understand that, you'll find similar figures easy. Same shape, different size.